Good evening, YouTube. I hope everybody's doing good. Um, I hope you'll bear with me for a second here. Uh, the drillers have entered the cavern, as you many of you may have heard. Um, they punched through the failed salt dome cavern and then removed the equipment to, to make way for their testing equipment. At first, there, there was no gas, um, and, and then they did... Um, come across a little bit of gas at, at which that point they flared that off but I'll read a little bit to you I got a few links I want to jump across because there's a point I have here um, Cranch said the equipment lowered into the cavern would include sonar to show the cavern shape and size and the equipment check its uh, and equipment to check its content he said gas had been expected in this particular brine cavern, throughout its production life, every two weeks it would build up to a pressure of about 900 pounds per square inch. And, and he said that gas would escape from the sodium chloride as it was being mined, Cranch said. That would be vented every two, uh, two weeks or so, and 20 minutes and boom, it would be gone, as he puts it here. Um, and then it goes on to reiterate some redundant stuff there. But so that caught my attention, gas at 900 pounds per square inch. So I'm doing a little digging, and as some of you may know, I did a vid about the mysterious string of dead rabbits in South St. Louis, it is, right? Uh, yes. Well, where do rabbits live? They live in the swamp. What's in the swamp? Water. Um, right coming out the gate water swamp gas uh, that type of thing is what was running through my mind and where it's at and and I I've got a bit on here a ways back about infra uh, intrastate and interstate gas lines keep that in mind and we'll jump over to this next bit um, gas pipelines and this is forensic appraisal uh, forensic appraisal group is where I'm reading this from and yeah, I would have posted the link anyway. Gas transmission pipeline easements are created for the purpose of construction of an underground gas transmission line. The gas can be either natural gas or liquid gas. The phrase transmission line means that the pipeline is used to transport the product from one distribution point to another. Often these points of distribution are long distances such as city to city or state to state. Typically, these pipelines are large diameter, such as uh, 10 to 36 inch, and carry the product under high pressure. A typical natural gas line pressure can be under 900 pounds per square inch. So there's that number in transport pressure as well, and, and bleed off pressure apparently from down there. Um, in the case of natural gas, the gas is typically transported without any odor. And that's key. Um, indicators are used, which are used to detect leaks, with, with, uh, without any odor indicators, which are used to detect leaks. These odor indicators are added at distribution points where the gas is then carried by distribution pipelines. These distribution pipelines are smaller in size and service the gas company customers. The odorant is added to help people detect the gas uh, a gas leak. However, the odorant is not added to, trans to the transportation pipelines due to its weight and cost. Gas companies are required to monitor these transmission lines for leaks on a regular basis. Monitoring techniques include frequent flyovers where the pipeline is inspected from the air. Um, these inspections particularly look for evidence of leaks in the ground cover, discoloration of grass, Encroachment of improved, uh, improvements are, are noted. Uh, the discoloration could indicate a leak that has materialized on the surface. Improvement encroachment could place the pipeline in danger of an accidental puncture. Uh, other monitoring met methods include placing a pig inside the pipe to do an internal inspection, pressure monitoring, and water testing. Yeah. Gas transmission pipeline easements typically forbid any su surface improvements such as trees, sheds, or living dwellings to be placed on an easement. These easements are often barren of vegetation other than low-lying bushes, grass, if agriculture, um, crops. 
This requirement often gives the easement a corridor look. These easements are being, being underground are not obvious to the casual observer and are required to be marked with warning markers, information of or the reader of pipelines, uh, the, the presence of the pipelines, and not to dig without calling first. Um, so I'm going to stop reading there because uh, there's half an article left here and it isn't really pertinent to what I'm doing here. But at any rate, the dead rabbits up in South St. Louis, the 900 pounds per square, uh, per square inch pressure, that caught my attention, and then uh, as well as throughout its production life every two weeks. So when did its production life stop, and where has that gas been going? since its production life stopped, since it's still being uh, produced, you know, and as you will see in, in past vids, there it's bubbling up, gas is coming out everywhere. One man suggested that it can't be just from that cavern. So this is an ongoing uh, shaping story as, as we uh, watch it go down. Take care, folks. Stay smart.